All right, guys, we're going to compute the slope, which is designated by the lowercase m. Okay, compute the slope. We're going to have 4x, okay, negative 3y. I think that's what I wrote down here. Yeah, negative 3y. It's equal to 9. Okay, so we're going to we're going to compute the slope of this, and we're going to use something called the slope-intercept form. In order to isolate uh, the slope, we're going to solve for y. And if we look over here to the right, I'll show you what I mean. So the slope-intercept form is y is equal to m times x plus b. Where you can see right here, m is the coefficient to x, isn't it? Okay, And it's also the slope we're after. B is what's called the y-intercept. Okay, so that means as we have a slope, right? Y, let's change colors here, we'll do it in blue. Y moves vertically, right? Where y intercepts a slope, this is equal to B, the y-intercept, okay? So that's where we're at in terms of what this formula represents. And by solving for y, it's going to allow us to isolate whatever that coefficient for x is going to be, which is going to give us a slope, all right? So we need to rearrange this so that y is on this side of the equation, right? And we have the form of m times x plus b on this side of the equation, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this positive 4x, and let's say, what can we do to cancel that out? We can subtract 4x, can't we? So let's go ahead and cancel that out. And whatever we do to this side over here, right, we have to do now to this side. And we're going to do it in the form of mx plus b, so we're going to put that coefficient of x and x in front of this 9. It's going to occupy this space right here. Okay, So we have negative 3y, which we're bringing down, right, equals, we took away 4x on the side, so we have to take away 4x over here, so we're going to have negative 4x, and that's a positive 9, positive 9. So we see the same form coming together, right? But y is not by itself yet, is it? So this, this says y equals mx plus b, and we can't right away jump to a conclusion and say, oh, we have m, it's negative 4. Well, no, y has a negative 3 over here attached to it. That's, that's negative 3 y's, okay? So we need to get that y by itself, and then we'll have that coefficient of x, or rather the slope of m, okay? So what can we do to get this y by itself? We talked about this in the last video in example one, or example two. We're going to divide away negative three, right? And we've talked about why that cross-canceling works. So we need to do it over here, divide away negative three, okay? So now we end up with y is equal to negative four x, positive nine, all of that divided against negative three. So positive nine divided by negative three, that's going to give us a negative 3. So we bring that down, negative 3. Now, negative 4x divided by negative 3 is going to give us a positive 4 thirds x. Okay? Negative divided by a negative is going to give us a positive, so it's going to be positive 4 thirds, right? So we have positive 4 thirds x minus 3 is equal to y. So now we see that slope-intercept form that we see up here, right? It is of the form y equals m times x plus b. So we see b is going to be negative 3. That's going to be the slope inter the y-intercept of the slope. And we see that the coefficient of x is 4 thirds. That's going to be the actual slope. So that is going to equal the m component, which we're after. All right, cheers.